Hi, I'm David Cohen. I'm the Group General Counsel and the Head of HR for Commonwealth Bank. I personally uh, feel very motivated by seeing good ethics in practice. I find that that is a great way to do business. It's a great way to deal personally with people. So it's, it's, a, it's a personal attachment, number one. Um, secondly, it actually is good for business. Um, really good ethics in business is good for business. And we try to instill that here. Um, we see others in the industry trying to instill that and I think it's a very, very important part. Thirdly, it is a community expectation. We don't do it just because other people want us to do it, but it helps that we not only have a personal commitment, but that it aligns with what others in the community expect. And I think increasingly, we're seeing younger people come through and asking the question, is this the right way to behave? From an employer's point of view, um, the proposition to employees is very important. We want our people to feel proud of working for our organisation as do others in the industry. And so it's important to actually be able to present to them an ethical face where people feel comfortable, personally comfortable, working for their organisation. So I think for a whole range of reasons, um, I personally find that bringing ethics to the fore in the industry and within an organisation is really important. We first of all got together as a group saying, well, we all have a common interest and a common personal uh, commitment to giving ethics the right place in the industry and in our own organisations. So we started from a good common spot. Uh, then when we got talking about, well, how can we actually get ethics to come to the fore in the industry? And we realised pretty quickly that it can't be purely organisationally driven. In other words, imposing on people ethics from an organisation isn't really the right way to get true personal buy-in. And the oath was seen as a great way to actually get individuals within the industry, regardless of organisation, to consider the particular principles that are being put forward and to adopt them personally. And for individuals to take that step, we think is a really powerful way to get the industry as a whole to lift, particularly if the oath does gain momentum and becomes a commonly accepted element of one's activity in the industry, then it will start to grow upon itself. And as individuals become aware that other individuals in the industry with whom they're dealing have signed up to the oath, then it does gain momentum. But it is a very personal thing and the whole focus of the panel was to get individuals to buy into a set of ethics and principles that we think will behave the industry well. Is it just words that people notionally sign up to but don't live out? Um, I think people are more serious about ethics than that. I don't think anybody who has uh, an ethical viewpoint uh, on life and on their business dealings is going to sign up just for the sake of it. Um, so I, I actually think that it will, it will get a foothold and people will believe in it. Um, but we have to acknowledge that it is new. It is the first time that an industry is, is being asked to consider uh, at an individual level taking on board a set of standards such as this. Um, and so it might take some time to get that going. On the other hand, that's the role of people on the panel, their organisations, to, to actually promote the, the oath and the benefit of the oath and the aim behind the oath. I think the Banking and Finance Oath is a great start. It's really important for us to get individuals to think about how they behave and how they act in their business dealings not just within their organisation, but more broadly within the industry as a whole. I'm really hopeful that as the oath becomes more widely known, people will talk to their colleagues, their friends within their organisation and outside, and encourage others to sign up. Um, we really want to see the standard maintained, if not lifted, across the industry. And this is a great way to start. I think the Banking and Finance Oath is a great start for us, and I'm looking forward to building on it.